as a person who is in charge of helping employers bring in qualified candidates, what do you think America should do to create jobs? Right now, um, our infrastructures uh, are... Everybody is saying that. Oh, Everybody it's... That. I mean, really. I mean, I travel, so mm -hmm. you're, we're talking about bridges, uh, buildings. Uh, you can go into schools. Everywhere needs to be repaired. So I'm not understanding why we're, we're having this uh, divide. I'm not understanding it because the truth is is that we really do need to repair uh, our infrastructure, our our bridges, our schools, and our buildings are just in total disarray, and we need to fix that. When we're actually building something, making something, uh, jobs will come. So how do we kind of light the fire under our lawmakers to say, okay, let's all get on the same table. It comes and down to organizing. I think the Occupy people have it right. We need to send letters. We need to let them know they're there for us. And if they don't do what they're supposed to do, we need to get those people out of office. Mm -hmm. um, quite frankly, I don't know when it's ever been where we've had this much uh, dissension dealing with bills being passed and things being uh, undone in our, in our uh, nation. Okay, skipping around, you said things being undone. A lot of bipartisan bickering going on. What do you think of all that? It's very distasteful. Mm -hmm. uh, we elect our lawmakers to work for us, to do things for our communities, to work for our nation and to see them just stop. Um, and I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I, I wish I knew why. The things I hear, <laughs> it really is uh, disturbing if it's because they don't want President Obama back in office. I'm concerned about that because that shouldn't have anything to do with us. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter whether it's uh, President Obama or whoever is in office. This is going to continue. We have to look at people that are looking at coming into office saying they want to be president and examine their records. And it's not about theater anymore. It's not about theater. We need to have people actually say they're going to do what they're going to do. Now, with that being said, you know, we do have a constitution and our constitution was put forth so we don't have a dictatorship so when i hear over and over again that our president's not doing something he can't do something without congress because we don't have a dictatorship so that's a bunch of theater mm -hmm. and we need to look through that and understand that it's not all about president obama it's about us our lawmakers and we're all in this together and we need to make it better.